In today's tech tip, we're going to discuss the usefulness of image props. Image props are essentially 2D images converted into 3D objects that can be rotated around the working plane. They are primarily used when you have the exact image of something you would like to represent in 3D, or have a complex object that is not easily created in Vectorworks that you would like to show in 3D. In Vectorworks, image props are used to display trees, cars, benches, people, animals, and other site work objects. Image props are more frequently used in our Landmark, Architect, and Spotlight Design Series modules, helping the viewer to understand more readily the scale of your drawing and give a more human and friendly appearance in general. To create an image prompt, you want to have a clean image file outlining the object that you would like to display. The image should contain a solid color, background preferably black or white depending on the image. If you have found an image you like but there are multiple objects in the background, I recommend using a photo editing software such as Photoshop to clean up the image. Here's an example of an image that you would want to use to create an image prop from. For this example, I'm going to create an image prop from this image. First, go to the Model menu and choose Create Image Prop. Here you can choose whether you wish to import an external image file or use an image that's already attributed to another object in the current document such as an image-based texture or bitmap image. Once you have selected the image, a dialog box will appear. Type in a name for your image prop and then assign a height and width. In most cases, you will want to lock the aspect ratio so that you're not distorting the image. Mask options allow you to make the background of the image transparent or mask a secondary image over the main image. The most commonly used practice is to use a mask, select create mask, reuse an image from another resource, select this props color, click OK, choose transparent color, click OK. This will open the transparent color mask dialog box where you'll be able to choose a color from the image that you want to be transparent and adjust the color matching tolerance and mask contrast. The color matching tolerance determines the range of pixels from the selected background color to be included in the transparency. Drag the slider to the left for a more defined image prop. Drag the slider to the right for more pixels to be transparent. The mask contrast controls the intensity of the image prop's color. For brighter, more photorealistic colors, drag the slider to the right, drag the slider to the left for a more washed out or gray image. Image props also contain several different viewing options so that the image can be properly oriented according to the 3D view. Cross planes will intersect two planes of the image at a 90 degree angle allowing the image prop to appear the same from all sides when rotated. This is useful for creating trees and shrubs and would be less effective for park benches and cars. Constant reflectivity allows you to make the image prop unaffected to light objects or light emitting objects. Plugin object will allow you to create the object controllable by the object info palette enabling you to change the dimensions as well as the rotational preferences of the object even after creation. Auto-rotate to viewer, as the name implies, will, will force the object to face the viewer at all times. If unchecked, the image prop will spin freely around during rotation as other objects would and will remain aligned to the respective ground planes. You would want to uncheck this option if you're using the image prop to display a painting or television screen. Create symbol will add it to this document's resource library, allowing you to insert it multiple times into your document or import it into other Vectorworks documents. Once you have created the image prop, you can combine it with a 2D object to produce a hybrid symbol so that you have a 2D and 3D representation of your objects. This is commonly used with plant objects and the place plant tool. Note that because I chose to create the plugin object option at the time of creation, I'm able to change the dimensions as well as the rotational options for the image prop through the object info palette.
To demonstrate the usefulness of image props, here's a 2D plan of a residential home created by our, our in-house landscape architect, Eric Gilby. He has combined image props with his 2D plant symbols and has taken the liberty to create some viewports from perspective views of a residential home to show how valuable image props can be for client presentation.